Ahoy there, guys! This week we are talking about sinking and floating, and we are learning about boats. And we are going to actually design our own boats. And somebody that would design a boat would be called a marine engineer. So this week, you guys are going to be like marine engineers. So what you're going to need to start is your sheet, I am a marine engineer. And there's space for you to draw a design and to write down materials you might need. So to give you a little bit of an idea of things you might use to build your boat, I'm going to show you some things that I might think about using to build my boat. So you might want to look around your house for some recyclable materials. We're going to be good for the environment and reuse some materials right now. So I have a plastic container because I know that plastic is going to float from our experiment um, yesterday. So look for some plastic containers or maybe other things that are going to be less dense than water and float on top. I'm thinking about using a plastic container because it kind of has the shape of a boat where I can maybe cut a hole in here and use that like the inside of the boat where I could put, I could even test it out with a little Lego character. So I would put my Lego character inside like he's actually sailing in the boat. So I'm gonna need this, I'm gonna need some scissors. I might need some help from mom and dad to cut a hole in the plastic since it's stronger. I might wanna attach some other parts to the boat. Maybe I have little extra flotation pieces here down at the bottom with a straw. Now I need to figure out how I'm gonna attach the straw. Am I going to put tape on it, maybe I need some tape. So I'm gonna write all these things down in the materials I might need. Maybe I think tape will get wet and then it won't hold very well. So maybe I'll attach it with some rubber bands instead. Or if you wanna, um, if you have a hot glue gun, you could use that too, that'll really stick to it. But remember, this is gonna go in the water. So you have to think about things that aren't gonna break down. When we put paper in water, what happens to it? It dissolves. So using something like paper is probably not a good idea. But if you reinforce that paper, if you, for example, have a cardboard box and you want to tape it up, you have duct tape, that'll protect it from getting wet and breaking down really easily. Because you'll see that if you do use um, cardboard, it can work, it will float for a little bit, but it just won't last for very long. So that's something that you could use. You could also use if you have toothpicks, popsicle sticks, those th kinds of things will work for building your boat. So look around your house, see what materials you have, draw a design of something. You want it to actually kind of look like a boat. You just, you don't want it to just be something that can float in water because that's not very exciting. So think about what shape would a boat have and what extra features are you gonna have it? on it. Are you going to have, um, is it a motor boat? Does it need a motor on the back? Is it going to be a sailboat? Does it need a sail? What kinds of things would you use for a sail? Maybe you could use a straw going up as the mast and then a piece of paper floating in the wind for your sail. Think about those kinds of materials that you might need and write them down here at the bottom and draw a really nice picture of what your boat might look like. And then tomorrow, you're going to become a real marine engineer and build the boat. Have fun with it, guys.